Welcome to Datapolis Workbox, the no-code solution to automate workflows in SharePoint. In the first movie we have created the simplest approval workflow. It is the workflow where the approver may only approve or reject the request. What if he wants to inform the submitter about the reasons of his rejection or approval? Is there a possibility to write down somewhere the comment on his decision? Datapolis Workbox has integrated the feature which enables to create user forms and integrate them with process. We want to obtain the following functionality. When we attempt to launch the action reject, the user form opens. It allows to write the comment and submit the form. Before we begin to create the form let me say two words about the Datapolis Workbox variables. Workbox variables are the objects where the data from forms are submitted and stored during the process. Defining the variables is very easy. Just click the variables icon on the toolbox, and add a new variable. Let name it comment. There are five types of variables, string, integer, real, date and logical. Let's add an additional variable, decision date. Now we have got the variables. Let's see how easy it is to create the user form. Let's open the action reject menu. We have here launch form button. If we click on it we will see two areas. On the left side there are all previously declared variables. The right side is empty. To create the new form just move the needed variables from the left side to the right. Once we have moved the variable workbox will create the appropriate form field. I have shift only one variable so I will get the form with one field. We may create an user form separately for any action. In our case we will prepare the second form for approval action. There will be two fields to distinguish it from the form created on the reject action. After the workflow is deployed we may see how it works. When we launch the reject action we will get form with one field. If we choose approve action we will get form with two fields. Summary User forms may be created and launched for every workflow action. Data grabbed from forms are stored in workbox variables. Creation of the form is as simple as choosing the variables which will be used in form. Forms may be saved as templates and used in other parts of workflow. To obtain more advanced relational forms you may integrate third-party tools like Infopath or even dedicated ASPX pages.